Yeah. All right. It looks like you enjoyed your day. How will you be paying, sir? I got it. Damn. But ma'am, it's only fifty one dollars. It's okay. Keep it for tip. Come on, let's go. Oh, It'd be nice. Thirteen twenty four. I got it. You know it's a skit when she has it out that quick, that ready. <laughs> I got it. Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We got a video today from Dating Right. Woman threatens and begs this man not to sign the divorce papers. Things are getting desperate, guys. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Every 35 pounds that a man loses, he gains one inch in his... Mm -hmm. That day, for no particular reason, <laughs> I decided to go for a little run. My husband gave up on me. And we are right now at the courthouse. Well, I pulled up on him at the courthouse because he want to divorce me. Right? You gonna give up? Wait, and you're gonna record him and put him on TikTok to shame the man? Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to shame him and staying with you? Okay, easy. Get away from him! Did you fill out the paper? It's like I'm on edge, like... Did you fill out the paper? Can I, can I talk for once? Like, it's like, I've been going through so much. Like, it's, it's, I'm debating, like, should I go with it or should I not? Like, I don't. We debating you up here at the courthouse. This, it looked like you made your decision. Like, I, I'm, I'm just, like, why, why are you here? I'm trying to see if why you really you, gonna go through it. Why are you even next to me? Cause it's like. I'm, I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to, I'm thinking like, you take. All right, for one, for the man to initiate divorce, you must be a horrible woman. Life with you must be a living hell for this man to want to initiate divorce. Since only 15% of us actually initiate divorce. So kudos to this man for wanting his own happiness and wanting to protect himself from you. So give him some personal space. Me told me you was getting a divorce, you at the courthouse. I pulled up on you obviously to stop this from happening. So, are you leaving with me or are you staying here? Trying to give him an ultimatum? The easy be doing is I could, I'm thinking, like, this, this woman, you know, I should I divorce her or should I stay with her and you know, just try to work it out? But it seemed like you ain't trying to, like. Get your stuff together, cause it's like I, I don't told you plenty. I don't told you plenty. Um, that just goes to show that she did not listen to nothing that this man had to say. This man is tired. I told you plenty of time. Make me get, come on, what made me get arrested? What I, made me get crazy up in here? I don't told you plenty of time. I was like, I work, I work, and like come home, I slave, and it's like you don't make me get crazy. But it's like, look at her like making mean faces and like, like trying to say, don't say these things. So I'm like, you're not his wife anymore. He's divorcing you. You guys are separated. You don't control him. <coughs> Let's go now. Let's go. Like the way she's making faces and talking to him is as if she's talking to a child. This is how parents speak to their child. Don't touch the man! Why are you doing that? Why y'all do that? Just... Let's go. Women are outrageous. If this was a woman sitting there and a man came up, even though it was her ex-husband, grabbed her like that and tried to pull her and yank her up, he's going to jail. Dang, you can, you can just... Man, she's sitting here interrupting, threatening, brow beating. Let that man go so he can find a good woman that's gonna really appreciate him. Just, uh, I need some time to think. I need you to, I need, can you just... Can you please just leave? 
Like I have, I have to five o'clock till the man come, till till they come. To think if I should do this. Don't tonight. do this. Don't do this. So. How you gonna do this? And salute to this man for not putting up with this woman's crap no longer. He's doing the right thing. Proud of proud of work, my boy. Let's proud. get into it. I honestly feel bad for the men of this generation. The younger guys, like in their early 20s, in their early 30s or whatever. I agree. And say they don't have a very prominent career such as like in finance because i used to work in finance so i know how much finance men really make in investment finance that's what i'm talking about okay that's where we used to work i know those men make upwards of 200 and something plus thousand dollars a year okay not every man will make that amount of money and if there is men that make that kind of money it's very limited okay so I think it's so crazy that this young women, this young ladies of this generation is expected for a man to make $300,000 plus in uh, a major city. You get what I'm saying? To take care of a family and all that. Not every man is going to make that amount of money. A man nowadays barely making $45,000, especially if he's black. I really think women are asking for a little bit too much for men. And y'all going to be mad, but I really don't care because y'all need to hear the truth. Some I've been making what? 40 to 60k for a very long time i live a pretty good life i think this year is the first year i'm gonna hit 100k because i have two jobs and then the youtube's paying enough to hit it over the mark but i've never had issues with the 60 50k that i've made before sometimes i honestly don't blame our man for going out and dating other races of women because let me tell you something. I grew up around those different women who came from very rich families, extremely wealthy. I'm talking filthy rich, probably richer than what you probably think. My parents had me surrounded by those kids, had me surrounded by those. Y'all don't even get it. Y'all think finding a man that rich that has a legit career, legit, in STEM or something like that where he's making over 150 grand, okay? Y'all really think that's an easily accessible man? <laughs> No, they're not. If you didn't grow up doing horseback riding classes, if you didn't grow up doing cooking classes, my mother had me in cooking classes with all the little white kids, all of them growing up because their parents taught them that y'all are missing that when you are born to be honestly a housewife and to live that lifestyle, you have to grow up seeing those things. It's just not going to come to you without you seeing those things. Now, granted, there are some women that just, you know, look up on a really high value, rich, rich, rich man. And, you know, that's just not his money and things like that. It's a bunch of other components that go into it. I you get what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is I honestly feel so bad for these guys, especially our men. Other men, you know, I have friends of all races. Other men, they can make them a smooth 50K, 55,000, and their white wife will be so happy because she's like, well, I'm working too. And, you know, she she's just, she takes so much pride. And uh, Yes and no, girl. Asians actually have to make even more money to be viable mates to other races and other women. So it's even harder for Asians if we want women outside of like the Asian race. But black men are, see are sought after by other races. I don't think very many people are seeking Asian men like that. So it's, it, it is slightly different from how the, in the income demographic works between the races. And to her man, and I feel like with black men sometimes, with this generation of girls, like the girl that got mad with the $30 for lunch, my man sent me money that same day, that same amount. And I went to Kava, and I ate there for lunch, and I ate it for dinner because I don't eat that much no way, okay? It's just like... It's true. I've never gone out with a woman that even eats half of what I eat. How do, why do you need so much money for food? Y'all are expected men to make more than what they actually will make in the black community if we're going to be real. If he's not in the top profession, he ain't making a lot of money. He 40, 50 grand, 60 grand is pretty okay. Other than, I mean, if you're making 40 grand in California, that might be a little tough. But once you hit that 50, 60 grand mark, like take home, you're living an okay life. Nothing extravagant. But you're living okay.
People just need to find somebody that they love and forget what people tell you and just find who you love and be happy with that person. Stop trying to be like somebody else. Stop trying to live the life that you see on social media because sometimes that ain't even realistic. It is. Okay? I think y'all just need to give the person that's in your lane a shot because sometimes people try to go outside their lane and I'm going to be real with you. That ain't going to work. <laughs> you need to stay within your lane and stay within the men that you... And that's how wealthy people keep the family structure intact. They teach their daughters how to be housewives very young. These young ladies, they go to college, and by the time they're graduating college, they're engaged and about to be married. So that's how a lot of these young women come out of college married, or they marry someone that the other family knows. But the truth be told, social media has really got people's standards all messed up. And men of all ages are having a hard time dating in the U.S., to be honest. But that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this trifling wife. Shout outs to Dating Right. Shout outs to that man in court. You know, finally getting the balls to leave, finding his own happiness. I'm sure he can find a, a woman to take care of him or you know, be a better mate than what she was. Remember, for men to be initiating divorce, you must be a horrible person. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.